Welcome to the Bloomingdale Public Library's program on Applying for Jobs Online. Learn how to browse for jobs utilizing websites like Indeed.com, USAJobs.gov, and LinkedIn.com. We'll also learn how to automate our job search with results delivered to our inbox. One thing to consider before going any further, if you actually watched our previous video about resumes, you can actually download and build upon a template from Google Docs. Microsoft Office products like Microsoft Word also has a feature like this. I don't have Microsoft Word officially installed on this computer, but if you don't have Microsoft Word, you can use it for free at office.com. You just have to sign up for a Microsoft account. The same goes with Google. You'll need to have a Google account to utilize the Google Docs. But once you have it, you have access to all these different templates. And you also have a place to save your documents. And you also have the opportunity to download in different formats as certain job sites require different formats. They may require a resume in a Microsoft Word docx file or a PDF. And it's always a good idea to have a TXT in case you want to check to see if there's any strange formatting. Now, we don't see any unusual symbols here, so it looks like the PDF version should be just fine. But just keep in mind that different sites do require certain formats for their resumes and cover letters. Sometimes you just have to actually copy and paste the information. Now, let's move ahead and talk about a few of these different websites. I'm already actually on Indeed.com. You could type it in. This is the full website address. Of course, if you just want to go to Google, you can type in Indeed. And you'll get a few different search results. These drop-down results are here. I'm going to type in Indeed here. And the first option here is Indeed Job Search. And you have a few different links that are connected to that website. I'll just click here. I'm going to go ahead and type in restaurant and I'm not going to press enter just yet we're just going to get to that in a moment I'm going to scroll down on this page so you get an idea of what it looks like you can see that there are a few different job postings it gives you a location it gives you the company's name and it also gives you the title of the position and then there's a few promoted job posts on the side here all right, let's go back up here. So if you remember, we typed in restaurant, and you can see there's a drop-down menu of different types of positions, like restaurant manager, restaurant server, and so forth. Adjacent to this box is the where box. So you can place the location by typing in the town or city and state. So we'll go ahead and select find jobs. And this is the first thing that I wanted to mention. So if you've never been to this site, you might get a pop-up like this, where it says, be the first to see new restaurant jobs in Bloomingdale, Illinois. And in this case, I may want to see more jobs like this in the future. So I'll go ahead and activate this notification. So now it tells us you'll receive your first daily job alert when jobs become available. Now you haven't signed into this website you haven't made an account with this website all you're doing is getting notifications and so when new jobs appear with that particular information it'll come to your inbox but anyways back to the website indeed.com restaurant in bloomingdale illinois you can see that some of the jobs are not in bloomingdale they just show you something that's kind of close by like Medina, Addison, and Schomburg, and Atasca. You do have a few other options to create a more customized search. So if you go back up to here to the top, you can see that you have a few boxes here. You have date posted. You can set to last 24 hours, last three days, last seven days, last 14 days. If you want more fresh jobs that are just showing up, uh, you can set it to last 24 hours. If you're just looking in general, for the first time, maybe set it to three days or even seven days because some of these positions do take a while to get filled. And if you find that you're looking at jobs on a day-to-day -day and you're seeing the same ones, 
think going back to the last 24 hours may be the way to go. Now, the next one is within 25 miles. If that's a bit too much for traveling with where you're from, you can set it to within five miles. You can set it to exact location. And if you set it to exact location, you'll only see results from Bloomingdale. And you can even get into more detail, set it to the last 24 hours. It looks like there's only one job that's been posted in the last 24 hours, and that's at this particular place. Uh, and for this particular type of job, the food runner, I'll set it back to just no settings on that. I'll just keep it uh, at date posted so we can see multiple results. Exact location only. I'll keep it there. Then you have the next box over, the job type. There's part-time positions available. You see the number 74. That means that is 74 different postings for part-time positions that are offered on Indeed.com at this point in time. Then you can see that there's 59 full-time positions, and you can select any of those depending on what you're interested in. Okay, and then the next box is the experience level. And as you can see, there are 69 different entry-level positions. And then if we exit out of that, we can go to mid-level, which is, uh, we have diff four different posts. And you can see these are our managerial positions that are available. Let's go ahead and select this one. But before we go forward, a few different things to note that you can easily apply for this position that the employer is generally quite responsive. And then they also have this little message here that says urgently hiring. I'm not seeing that in all these other positions, at least in this job search. But we'll go ahead and select this one. And when we select it, you can see that it pops up to the right. And if you have a small window there, it'll just take you to another page. And it goes into details of how many hours you'll work per week. And you'll see how often the, the pay is, uh, uh, it's bi-weekly, so it's twice a month. There is no remote work, which is something that it's a bit newer in these days, in these times. You may have not seen something like this before, but some positions do tell you that they are uh, remote work experiences. So yeah, these are all the different details. And not every job posting is going to have all this information, but uh, you would really have to look at all these yourself to see the relevant information that, you, that pertains to your needs. Beyond the dates that are posted for these positions, the locations and job types and experience level and location, we also have the salary estimate. Twelve fifty an hour seems to be the most populated uh, area on indeed.com and then you can see that 2250 plus an hour there are about eight positions and we can take a look at those generally those are at least mid to high level positions like uh, being a private chef which we saw earlier and restaurant manager and then if you can see that 1250 as I said before is the most popular around this uh, salary range and then you also have the different companies that are offering job posts and there's also an advanced job search. So if you have specific uh, things that you're looking for, you can use the advanced job search to fine-tune your search. So if you're looking for one particular company, you can type in that company's name here. If you have a specific type of uh, skill that you're looking to utilize in your next job, you may want to put that in one of these uh, boxes. And if you have a salary requirement, you may want to put that in here. You can set the display to 10 options per page. And you can have it set to by date or by relevance. And I set it to restaurant. But let's go ahead and just not put anything there, but find jobs. Now, looking at this real estate agent position, it looks like if you want to apply for this position, you're going to have to go to their website, and they'll give you a direct link to that 
website. So if you wanted to do that, you can click it and it, it will take you further. However, sometimes you'll get a screen like this where it says before you continue, they want you to create an Indeed account. And you can do so with your Google account, Apple, or your Facebook. Or you can just do it with your email address. Because we're already signed into our Google account, I'll just select the first option and set that up. And you can say you are a job seeker. Continue to the application. You may see different types of pages. They're not always going to look the same. But depending on the job that you're looking for, you might see something a little different. Let's say I wanted to apply for this job. If you were to click Apply Now, you're still on the website. You would input your information, your phone number, and then you would continue forward. Applying for certain positions would require you to, to have an account with Indeed. And I don't believe all of them are that way, but it may be just in your best interest to set up an account so you have the most opportunities to apply for the position that you're interested in. When you have the account, you have an ability to set up a profile where you can upload your resume or create a resume. If you don't already have one, let's go ahead and click Create a Resume. And what will happen is it'll give you a tutorial to go step by step with the resume process. You just have to follow all the different things here. I don't have a phone number that I'd like to put in here, but you can go ahead and move forward on your own. You can also upload your resume and I select that here. Let's see, so as you see, it didn't accept that file type. It looks like it needs to have a PDF or docx doc txt or rtf. So I did save in multiple formats. We'll select the resume docx. And what will happen is you'll get this information to convert the Indeed resume. You also get an option to review the different information that it's going to capture, like this information here. If it looks correct to you, then you can keep it as is. Otherwise, you can use this pencil to edit. And if everything's fine, you can just press save or you can cancel. And then you can also select this little ticker here that says you're ready to work, that you're available to start immediately. And you can deselect it if you're not. Now the interesting thing about a lot of these websites nowadays is that they have uh, a kind of artificial intelligence or AI. So when you upload your resume to these applicant tracking systems, which this would be one, Odds are the first person to decide whether your resume gets into the next level isn't a person at all, and actually it's just a bot looking at your resume, checking the formatting, looking at keywords. So if your resume looks good to the human eye, that's good. But you also want to make sure that a lot of the keywords in your resume are useful along your job search because the bots that are on these sites... Uh, we'll be looking very closely at that information. So you can convert your resume. And it looks like it brings us to this. And they will want you to verify a lot of this information. And if you don't add this information, they will prompt you to do so. Key is to be very detailed with this because the potential employers will look at this information. But for now, we're going to move forward. The idea is that once you have your resume here, you can easily apply for jobs directly through Indeed's website. The next website I want to go over briefly is LinkedIn.com. LinkedIn.com is useful in that you can search for jobs, you can find and connect to people that you know, and you can also learn a new skill, which I have mentioned before in a lot of my videos. If you go to our Bloomingdale Public Library's website and then hover over to Learn, then down to online courses, we have LinkedIn Learning connected with your library card. You just have to sign up through that page, uh, type in your library card number and PIN, and then you can continue forward. But going back to LinkedIn.com's website, you can search for a job 
without having to be signed in. Mm -hmm. If you would like to sign in, you can sign in just like we did with Indeed.com. You can create an account and set up a profile as well. But you don't necessarily have to do that just to look at the different job postings that are available. And just by default, I haven't typed in anything here, but Chicago is set by default. And you can see that there are some interesting jobs that are available. It looks like a representative for the Chicago Cubs. Looks like you can be a bookseller at Half Price Books in Orland Park in all types of fields. And everything is seen here. And if you, let's say if I were to select the bookseller position at the top, and you can look at this uh, information that comes up to the right. Very much like the way Indeed's website works, uh, the information that's relevant to that position is available here. And you can see that there's a estimated pay range, 36000 a year to 50000 a year. That's the range. You can see the mission statement. And you see some more information down here. Seniority levels, entry level. It's full time. It's retail. That's the industry. And it's, uh, the job function is sales and business development. And you can also click see who you know. If you have connections, if you're connected to LinkedIn, you can see if you know anybody that's currently working at that company. And back up to the top, you can see that there is a button for you to apply on the company website. So as I mentioned before, you don't need to have an account with linkedin.com to access this information um, however maybe some of them do um, but as I click through a lot of these different job posts most of them well so far the very top ones are all apply on company websites you can also save these job postings as well so if you want to look at them later or you want to share it with someone you can do so but here's one example that has the apply now button. And when you click on that, since we're not signed in or anything, this is the first thing we'll see. You can apply for this position. You have to enter your email to apply within your existing LinkedIn profile or to create a new one. So you'll have to provide that information. You'll have a lot more functions and a lot more ability to apply for positions beyond just the ones that you see that say apply on company website if you actually create a LinkedIn account. But going back to the basic functions of the job search, you do have the same kind of idea that Indeed had when we were looking for jobs here. When you look for jobs, you have these buttons at the top where you can fine tune the job search. So you can set up the basically the time window as to when these jobs are posted. You can set the location, uh, the distance that is, and let's go ahead and type in Bloomingdale. And set the distance to 10 miles. Just to get some more close to home results. You can set the salary range. And that looks to be a few, only a few different companies. It looks like Amina Health has got the most with 256, at least on this website. Keep in mind, you might not get the same results on Indeed and LinkedIn as different companies uh, post in different websites. So it's best to maybe consider looking at a few different uh, websites when you're doing the job search and you can set up notifications like we did with with Indeed uh, to automate some of your, your job searches. This is back to 25 miles. So we're not getting very interesting results. But as you can see, you have the ability to set uh, what kind of job type you'd like. You have full-time, part-time, contract, temporary, and volunteer. We can set volunteer. And we can see the different types of job posts that are set for volunteers. We'll select uh, this one, and you get the relevant information. But one thing that kind of separates LinkedIn from Indeed.com is the ability to uh, socialize and find people that you you know, like your classmates, coworkers, professors, or friends, and you can utilize their search option above. Just as an example, you can 
start with John Doe. And the first option is John Doe CEO at John Doe Inc. And usually what will happen is you'll get uh, more information like the previous job experience, uh, some of the people that they are connected to. Let's see if we can get some more information from this profile. From this profile, you can see that they have four connections that they've worked at as a business development specialist. You can get into more detail when you're signed in and connected to see the full profile, but this is just some basic general information that you can find on LinkedIn. It may not be for everybody, but some job opportunities can be found through mutual connections. And that's what may give LinkedIn a bit of an edge over uh, other websites. The last website I'd like to go over today is the usajobs.gov website. And this is where you can search and apply for many different federal jobs. And if you were going to click here, let's look at the official address. This is the official USA Jobs Gov website address. And if we were to type in our city here, let's see what we can find. So we have 879 jobs. Uh, we can sort by relevance. We can sort by close date, open date, agency, department, location. Let's try location. And you have all these different filters here on the right. So if you're looking for something in particular, like let's say if you were looking for things for pertaining to veterans, you can select veterans and you can find different results here on the left like safety and occupational health specialists for the Department of Labor in Arlington Heights. And it opened up from December 21, and you can apply until January 11th. And then if you look at these different uh, circles here, you have that uh, the indication that it's open to current or former competitive service federal employees. You have it open to surplus or displaced federal employees. So, so you can see these are specialized positions and technical positions. So if you are aware of, of any of these fields, you may apply for these jobs. If you're a student or a recent graduate, you can select these tick boxes as well to look at the different job posts that are available now. So you can see the Department of the Air Force is available. Let's say we want to click on this one. We want to know more information about the information and arts family for the Department of Defense. So as you can see, it's not as user friendly as something like LinkedIn or Indeed. But if you're looking for government positions, this is perhaps the website to go and you can create a profile as well. But I highly encourage you to be as detailed as possible if you're going to go this route. Uh, even to consider not doing a single one-page resume because they want to look at a lot more details. And keep in mind, a lot of these sites, as I mentioned before, they have sophisticated robots that are working on these sites looking for keywords in your resumes to find the perfect matches. If you have any more questions or need more assistance, feel free to ask us at the library in the computer lab. We will be able to assist you and help you any way that we can with regards to searching for jobs. Uh, also consider using our online courses option where you can go to LinkedIn Learning, view videos uh, regarding job searches. It goes into way more detail than I could in this video. Uh, best of luck and see you in the next one.